the Lockhart Correctional Facility. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes. And it's important that we provide um, that offender, someone's loved one, a second chance to get it right. We at Austin Community College have a, a tremendous opportunity to reach people where they are. And that means even reaching them here. They're prepared for any sort of frontline operator or supervisory position in any sort of manufacturing environment. What we've done is provide them with basic core manufacturing skills that prepare them to be successful. It was an amazing opportunity. Um, most of us knew each other, but we really didn't know each other. We got to know each other as a team and we had each other's back. And I think we've all come leaps and bounds in the last five months. Even though we didn't have the resources, we had each other. It made us learn how to work as a team, which is something that a lot of us that are incarcerated probably have never done. We've always done things on our own, not depending on anybody else. But in this class, we had to depend on each other because that's all we had. We are labeled um, a stigma. There's a stigma. We're felons. So this is an opportunity that um, gives us a chance to be able to go out there and know that there's a job waiting for us and a job that's gonna pay us well. For some reason that, you know, when opportunities like this class comes along, that it's always the men that are able to catch on and latch on to the type of skills. We can do the exact same thing that they can do. And I feel like as long as you take the initiative to do it, there's nothing that can stop you. It doesn't matter if you put on a skirt or a pair of pants. We know that any sort of adult basic vocational training or life skills training is going to make a significant difference in the number of individuals who uh, recidivate and come back uh, to prison. Two, um, obviously all but a very few are coming back into our communities. And when they come back into our communities, um, what we want to do is find ways to connect them with a different network than they were involved in when they got in trouble. We wanna connect them to a real job. We wanna connect them to services that may be helpful to them. Um, if we do that, if we build a reentry program that includes all of those things, it will reduce the recidivism rate the best part is my grandson is sick. And uh, he was almost two when I got locked up. And he told me on the phone, you know, I talked to him on the phone all the time. And uh, for him to tell me that, you know, Mama, I am so proud of you for going to school. He said, because you are going to school and you're going to graduate. And he said, you know what? I'm going to graduate too. And I said, well, I already graduated from high school. I'm graduating from college. He was like, well, okay, I'm just gonna graduate from college too. <laughs> Even though I'm here, I just made a mistake. And if given the chance, I can prove that I'm a better person than when I got here. I, I really feel like since taking this class that the opportunities are endless. I think it's helped everybody, not with just a certificate that's gonna be good for them out there, but as self-esteem to know that, hey, I am okay.